How's it going everybody? Um, I'm making an update video here about my joystick, my right joystick and how it had a massive amount of drift. I was playing some Fallout New Vegas last night and noticed my gun was drifting downwards. And I was like, why the fuck is it drifting downwards? And I was starting to worry, I was starting to panic. I was like, fuck, have I got joy joystick drift? Never had it in a Switch before. So I thought I was kind of lucky in a sense. Um, but yeah, my right joystick had has joystick drift. It still has it, but we've managed to offset that by a fat dead zone. <laughs> so if I, if I test the dead zone for you guys now, um, you can see that it immediately drifts down. So if I say if I'm playing a game, right, and I just point the arrow down, constant drift, right? It's very, very shit. So if I had this set to default, um, my gun would continuously drift down in FPS. Um, my character, I was playing Brothers A Tale of Two Sons, my right, <laughs> the right younger son was constantly moving down. Uh, he was moving backwards. I was like, why the hell is he doing that? Obviously, it's drifting. So what I had to do was I had to configure this dead zone. Originally, it's really small. Um, this one encapsulates my issue here. So it kind of like, well, that's what a dead zone's for, right? Because a joystick isn't always perfect. So it has to account for a small amount of drift anywhere. But mine's a massive amount of drift. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous, right? So for the time being, until I can get a new right joystick, because they're pretty simple to reinstall, I've set up a, a, a dead zone here. Um, and I did that last night, and I thought, fuck right, so that's the issue solved. No. Thank to this absolute legend on Reddit who managed... who managed to solve the problem for me. As you can see in Witcher, if I go down, it drifts up. Because that's what the cam that's the camera, isn't it? So you so just imagine that but in any game, I'm always drifting upward. It's, it's yeah, it's very annoying and it makes games unplayable. So if we go into controller settings, just in case any of you guys have this issue and start worrying and shit. Controller settings. I didn't know you could do this, but obviously the Steam Deck has a massive amount of customization with controls. You go to joysticks, you just go to right joystick, press the little cog icon, click dead zones, right? And the, the pre-configured dead zone we just set hasn't been enabled in this game. So we have to go non, change that to default. And now that dead zone has now been pretty much put in place for this game. And you have to do that in every single game that you're playing, which is the shit part, because it can take a while but if i now right early last time we just tried it it literally would just take a small tap on the on the down but because we have that dead zone in place like i say it fixes the problem like i i, I shouldn't be having a big a dead zone a, a drift as that for sure but to save me from sending this back to valve and it taking three weeks to fix uh, to get a replacement back um obviously then i can't make videos or play the device and <laughs> um, this is a mad fix so props to the dude on reddit who um who told me about this because it's like it's hidden in menus so if so the average user gets um joystick drift he's going to automatically want to uh, send it back so yeah that's my uh, fix <laughs> so yeah guys, I hope that helps somebody who has the, the same problem as me. Um, I was freaking out last night, like I was saying, I was literally about to... Because I, I, I already had an RMA in place for some backlight bleed, and Valve had accepted the fact that it had backlight bleed. They said I'd send it back. And then I was contemplating sending it back, and I never did send it back. It's just in this top right corner. It, it doesn't bother me anymore, comparing it to other people's. It's very similar. A lot of people have this in the top right corner, and for the ex for the, the the expense of sending it back and getting one with different problems, I just dealt with it. So um, I still had that RMA option open. So I actually booked a slot with them with my local delivery people, and I was I had to, I factory reset the whole device, um, thinking I was going to send it back, 
And then this morning when I woke up, I checked Reddit and some legend had told me how to do it. Um, I don't, I'm no longer need to send it back. So yeah, good. Cause I was enjoying playing it and I was annoyed that I was gonna have to wait another three weeks to get another one, but awesome. So if, if you have the, if you had any uh, issues with drifting or anything, try that first. If that doesn't work, then yeah, you're gonna have to send it back. But as you can see, no drift anymore. Um, just to show you if, just to show you again. So you go the cog, you know, you go edit layout, joysticks, right joystick, because that's the problem, the one I'm having a problem with. Cog, dead zones, set that to default. As you can see, that's my drift there. Physical joystick position, you can see it um, constantly moving around. See, look, I'm not touching it, 38%. So if we had this set to none, just quickly go back to the game. It does it in game. So like if I had that set to none, look up, the camera moves up. There you go, camera moves up. So it's it's a fix for sure. Um, but I definitely want to get a new joystick. Um, so I might message Valve about it anyway, just to let them know. But yeah, there you go, guys. Hope that helps.